our vision about the energy industry is that we see many disruptive changes going on. So on one side, we are shifting now from the centralized production with um, common um, fossil fuels or the, the water power stations more to renewable energies, right? Like wind and uh, solar production. And on the other side, we see a change going from a centralized production to more decentralized production. Right now, every residential homeowner can put their own photovoltaic system on their roof or buy a home battery, get an e-car. And in that case, the residential home gains more and more importance in that energy turnaround. And all his devices which he has at home, and they bring also some challenges. Challenges for the energy supply and also for the grid because the production is quite volatile. Um, and this gives some instability challenges. So we see the need of connecting all these kind of decentralized um, devices together in a network and to be able to control them. And this is also what we are doing as a company since 2012. We founded Swisscom Energy Solutions where Swisscom and Repower are shareholders. And we are providing technology solutions for the energy industry in Switzerland and also international. So we started to build up a platform on where you can connect all these kind of decentralized devices like heating systems, like a heat pump, a night storage heater. You can connect photovoltaic systems, battery systems, um, e-car charging stations, also air conditioning. Everything which works electrical in a home. And then by shifting their consumption in time, from now probably to 10 minutes later, it creates a certain kind of flexibility which you then can trade on the energy market and you can use it for the grid stability. And this is also what we are doing right now. So we were the newest form of, of investors into our own energy turnaround. And this made it quite specific or special, I think. Our main partners are coming from the energy industry. So it's uh, utilities uh, here in Switzerland. We are working together with Repower, for example. We are working together with the utilities from the Tessin, um, also with uh, EKS in Schaffhausen and many more. Or we work together with the device suppliers, as we are doing it, for example, with Hoval or Tobler. And uh, on an international basis, we work together with Sonnen, like the home battery supplier in Germany. And also utilities like Direct Energy in France and some others in Germany and Austria. The main country where we were coming from and where we started in 2012 is Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And since 2016, we are now expanding all over Europe. And the main countries are now France. Switzerland, Austria and Germany. And we are looking for more. I think that all these technology companies like telecommunication companies can be enablers for the, for the energy industry and for the turnaround. Because as a telecommunication company, we have seen exactly the same changes in terms of decentralization already many years ago. It was the development of the internet, which was not existing before. We know the challenges that were coming and we know a bit more on how to deal with them. So why not join the forces together with the energy industry and um, work on these challenges um, together. Furthermore, the telecommunication industry is really customer focused. So everything is about the customer, about the customer experience. And I think this is also something which can translate really nicely into the energy industry. And also the technology cycles are much faster. So development cycles of roughly half a year, one year are just normal. And we see that this will also um, happen in the future in the energy industry. So we think that they're um, combining both know-hows um, is the best basis for the future. Mainly what happened in the, in the telecommunication industry was that formerly you had the landlines, but also you had like the huge centralized and then it became more and more decentralized because right now you have even more processing capacity on your smartphone than you probably had like 15 years ago on your computer at home, right? So it's going more and more decentralized. The same happened with the internet. I mean, before you needed to have a line, right? To make a phone call. Right now via WhatsApp or any kind of other apps, you can just do it um, wireless. And we see the same transition in the, in the energy industry. Before you had like the big power stations, really centralized, like water power, gas power, coal, also nuclear. Um, and now it goes on one side more and more into renewables, like solar and wind power. 
but also much more decentralized. Everyone can participate, everyone can not just consume, but also feed back into the grid and also have an impact on the grid. The load share of women is not a barrier to the energy transition because I'm sure that the energy transition is going to happen and it is already happening right now. Um, no matter how many women are working in the industry, but for sure what would be helpful is to have more women in general in technology um, focused jobs, also in the energy industry, um, because they just bring a new perspective. They have a bit of a different kind of style to work, to find solutions and also um, new perspectives on different kind of topics. And I think the combination in a team then just gives you um, yeah, a better basis um, to solve the problems of the future.